Nikki, aka Akanksha Ranjan Kapoor, welcome to CN CNN News 18. And how are you, uh, Akanksha? I'm very good after your very very kind words to me. I'm very excited. Akanksha, your Nikki from Monica, oh my darling, is winning everyone's heart. She is this clueless rich girl who owns her fiance. So first, thank you and congratulations for giving such a me- memorable performance. Thank and you. And how you. would you like to express your happiness today as an actor? And what's the best feedback that you have got for your for your role? I think just this, like everyone, like you said, you, like the word scene stealer really gets me so excited because like there's such amazing actors in this film. So forget being the scene scene stealer, just to be noticed amongst them is like such a big compliment. You know, for being noticed and being liked so much, I think it's the biggest, biggest, biggest compliment one can get. Yeah, and I'm just, I'm just, just too thrilled. <laughs> So, what was the response of your mom and dad and your friends, especially Alia Bhatt? So, my mom and dad, I'm usually very nervous to make my dad say anything because he has too much, like, you know, that bap ka pyaar. Maybe like, you were the best. No, no, no. Your role should have been bigger. So, I was very nervous thinking that he like, no, no, no. Your role is like, dad, I'm so scared of him. He'll tell the director only. So, I was like, I don't know what he's going to come out on and say. But he, they both just had smiles from ear to ear. He's like, "What a film! What a performance! Everyone was so good. What song?" And I was like, "Papa, you liked it." So I literally joked to Vasan. So I said, "Vasan, so what you've done for my family <laughs> today? No one has done." So it was just uh, they both were just really happy. Alia is really busy, of course, with everything's going on. So she's not been able to see it yet. She's like, "I'll see just your scenes." I said, "Please don't do that. It's a lovely film. See the film." So she'll see it when she gets a breather. But she posted. Uh, uh, she posted uh, my. Uh, she posted my uh, critic reviews because that was very uh, like there was a lot of reviews. So she was saying, "I'm so proud of the reviews you got." You know, Kangsha. Apart from the rave review that you got, which are some of the funniest or the coolest comments that you have read about your character on Instagram or on Twitter? Uh, I think uh, just. Uh, The do I look sad scene? People are just cracking up on it. Uh, I didn't think it would be that funny. I remember, like, the people have made memes on it. On it, that's what I find really, really, really funny. Like such funny memes about like brides telling their husbands, you know, pretending that do I look sad? I'm trying my best to look sad when they're getting married, or like just silly memes. Like there's so many different situational memes on the do I look sad thing. But I think that's really, really hilarious. You know, I think your character Nikki actually got the best lines in the film. and this one like you said do i look sad i think a meme fest has already started and soon i think we will be finding this line printed on many t-shirts is that your favorite line from the film as well like my my favorite line of nikki or either either of either of your uh i think my favorite lines were sikandar's i think he had the best funniest lines my favorite lines of nikki would be uh I think when she calls him from the car, I found those lines just too funny. When she says, "Everyone's dying. Are you dead? I feel someone's killed you like a pumpkin." I found those too funny. So yeah, those. <laughs> Would you please like to say these lines for us? <laughs> like do them right now? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> do I look sad? I'm trying my best to look sad, Joe. Do I look sad? <laughs> Oh, cool, but did you expect such a response for your character when you were shooting for? for Most the- definitely not. Most definitely not. Like when I signed the film, I was excited, excitement, excitement, excitement. While just before it started releasing, the excitement turned into nerves. That oh shit, will anyone even realize, recognize me? Like will anyone know? There are too many good actors and too many. All the characters are very, very impactful and funny and crack. You know, everyone leaves a mark. So I said, I'm. New, like, will I be remembered? So that was a very big actual stress point till the day of the release. I was like, forget it, you know. People like the film, mainly, utna hi kafi hai. And then suddenly, like, and I was not reading reviews. And Netflix sends you like a bunch of reviews, so they sent the day I, you know, the day it uh, released. And I was like, okay, I'll just check one. And I've checked one. No, in fact, Vasan sir sent me a Rangan, the the biggest critic, uh, and said he's the best critic in India. He's he's given you a special mention. So I opened that, and I think us. Flying in the sky. So after that, I got the courage to open all, and I said, "Oh my God! Everyone has reviewed my character. Like that, that I can't explain to you what a feeling that is." You know, your character Nikki bullies her fiance Jay <laughs> by Rajkumar Rao. She puts paint on his T-shirt, constantly talk to her cousin Vinny, whom whom you actually describe a mess. You say she's a mess, but how do you look at Nikki? I don't think she's a mess at all. I think she's a. Uh... she definitely uh knows what she wants she definitely knows how to get it uh 
I don't call her dumb. Like even though a lot of people like she's stupid, I think she's smarter than you think. Way smarter than you think. Um, uh, holds her cards very close to herself. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Loves her boyfriend and just wants him by her side. <laughs> so, what was the brief that Basan gave you about Nikki when he pitched you this character? So he said she's not stupid. Don't look at her as like spoiled and dumb. Look at her as someone. That agar usko you know what hectic hafta hai she just goes to Machu Machu Picchu to unwind Machu Picchu to unwind and not because she's spoiled but that's her world so it's a very matter of fact don't try to be like oh me ye ho me ye bags hai it's not that ye hi meri dunia hai so very comfortable in her surroundings not like wow about it so she can't come across dumb so even that sounds exotic thing he's like it could be self deprecate it is self deprecating but it needs to not come out stupid. It needs to come out like, oh, okay, sounds good. Like, you know. So yeah, I think it was a fine line. He wanted to maintain that she's just not some stupid, uh, ba- basic airhead girl. There's more to her, and that gray, gray needed to come out. It was very essential that the gray comes out. But you know, was length of the character ever concern for you? Because no. your character is there from start to finish, and we only saw one side of Nikki. Right. Um. Of course, as any actor, you want to showcase as much as your work, work you can. You you're greedy to do more and more and more. So by that account, definitely yes. But I don't think I'm in a space right now where I'm counting minutes of any roles. I am trying to just do good work. Like even Ray did not have screen time so much, but that one scene, I got so 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 many calls for you know, and that did it for me. So I think I'm here to do work. So people like my work and like you know my conversation with you right now is making me fly in the sky because. It doesn't matter, right? This film or this character's testament that role size does not matter. So, uh, am I greedy to do more work? Yes, but am I being picky about these things? Absolutely not. If I do feel, I don't want to do an entire film where I feel nothing is impactful. I rather do five scenes where I know it's going to go back home with the audience. But how are you prepared for this character? Did you also cook a backstory in your head while playing Nikki? so uh, definitely every time you're like you know jamming with the director and we have readings you know like he gives like ideas and like characteristic traits and like things about us so it's on my script actually 15 things i can like get it out um so yeah he has like a bunch of things that he told me uh, that is uh, that is nikki and kind of imbibed that with who i am and made like a perfect mix of yeah you know this is a dark comedy Do you like dark humor? Do I like dark humor? Yeah, very much so. What which are your favorite movies in this genre or series? Like just recently, like Andha Dhun is um, Shri Ram Sir's, which I love. I love only thrillers and like dark. I like only dark stuff basically. Thrillers like on Netflix, my entire because you watched is only dark, dark, dark stuff. I just finished Dharma and Echoes and all of these like thriller, dark mystery type of things. That's that's the cinema I enjoy. uh this is your second outing with vasan bala do you think he understand you the best and how would you like to uh, describe your experience of working with vasan bala for the second time so yes he understands me he is someone who saw me in guilty and offered me really you know he didn't ask me to test so i think that gave me a lot of confidence that he knows cuz guilty was different ray was different and he still like believed that i could pull off ray so that was very very that gave me a lot of confidence and the first day my scene was the five hour long fight sequence again so threw me right into the deep end but that gives you confidence so like he knows you can do it even the fact that he signed me opposite a rajkumar rao means there's something he saw in me so these things really uplift you and make you feel like listen if he thinks you can do it you bloody can do it you know uh he gets me uh, i think he even understands me now as an actor uh because i've shared so many of my insecurities or whatever with him he knows how to direct me clearly um i think it was a blast working with him uh, i'm too grateful for him right now the whole country is like decoding his film and loving his film and i i sent him a message i said i can't believe you signed me not once but twice and like that makes me feel so 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 special and like proud and excited so thank you so yeah i think it was just great i i these two films have done a lot for me hopefully you know does lots for me so i have only him to thank you know i watched your film guilty in that you of, of course gave a very powerful performance but now and now this how do you see uh, the prog- progression in your craft when you look at your previous work so i obviously haven't gone back to it since i saw it then but i think a, 
common feedback that I'm getting is that I'm getting more ease. The word ease, everyone has used a lot. Easy with the camera and more confident with the camera, which I think, of course, happens with experience. So, uh, yeah, I do remember being very nervous before every take during guilty. And now I was into set, set excited and happy because, yeah, of course, it builds your confidence and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think I'm getting more relaxed and easy, which in turn helps me concentrate on the character and the performance instead of being nervous about my surroundings. So, that for sure. You know, uh, we guilty, Ray, or now Monica, or my darling. It is clear that Akanksha Ranjan Kapoor is Netflix's darling. But when are we going to see uh, Akanksha in a theatrical film? Very, very soon, of course. That's the dream. Uh, that's the plan that's uh, being set into motion as we speak. Um, times are really uncertain right now outside, so uh, it's a bit nerve-wracking also. But yeah, hopefully, uh, in a good, like, I guess that's my only worry, right? I, in this box office thing, there's a, a flop picture career, this nigga. That fear is really, really valid and it's really, really big, especially for a new actor. So just want to do the right thing where, again, it's a strong character which people go home, back home with. So that I just want to make the right choice, you know. I don't want to do anything that's like for the sake of being in a theater and then it just comes and goes and it's my loss. How do you plan to make your career choices? Especially now people have huge expectations from you. And I don't think Nikki will be fading away from uh, people's memory anytime soon. So, uh, to the second part of your sentence, thank you. And I hope so too. Uh, people's expectation ka burden is something I'd like to not take because I have my own expectations ka burden, which is very, very heavy right now. I just really want to do good work. Like I said, I don't want to worry about what people, because people even thought that I'm sure in the beginning ke itna chota role kyu kiya, ensemble kyu kar rahe ho, theater kyu nahi kiya, like do, log to bolte jayenge, I can't. I, I have a very clear uh, idea of where I want to reach and uh, I don't care the way I reach it. The path can be many. I just know at the core what's the kind of work I want to do. So I'm just on that path trying to find stuff uh, which I love, which I feel people will love and keep going. <laughs> and finally, you know, you of course have spoken about nepotism in the past. Your mom, dad are an established name in the industry. How challenging has been your journey so far despite having uh, contacts with who's who of uh, Bollywood? But you know, I say this so often just because uh, my parents have dinners with somebody or go out with somebody doesn't warrant them to make a 50 crore film for me like that's never happened and like even this nepotism thing that um i got it because of my friends then i would have got it many many years ago um i've been testing for many 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 years uh i've been auditioning nobody knows my journey and it's very unfair and also infuriating when you point fingers without having any facts like any goddamn facts and like i read it and then have people replying saying yeah and, all, and i'm just dying to reply be like oh god you don't know anything you know so it's frustrating but like it's my journey. Uh, it's not been easy. But yeah, of course, I, I totally respect other people's journeys, which have probably been harder or easier. But everyone has their own path. Uh, my parents, yes, know a lot of people. Uh, firstly, they're in TV, not even in film. Um, but yeah, they know a lot of people. Uh, yeah, uh, it has helped knowing where to begin. It has helped uh, knowing... How do I put it? I knew where to start. I knew that these are the casting directors. This is how you go about it. This is, this, these are agents. This is how you meet people. I understood that. But then the journey from there has been the same. I've still gone to those auditions, given them, gone to those casting directors, made those cold calls, had those meetings and taken seven years to bag guilty after an audition. So people don't get it. And I find, like, I feel like maybe it's just fun to like make someone's work feel lesser. But that's not true. And it's not fair. And yeah. So it clearly means that uh, you'll only survive if you have talent. I don't so. I, I like yeah. Maybe people get get work. I didn't because of friendship at all. But maybe people do. I don't know. But still, then they get panned. So one way or the other, you have to be good at what you do. But we love Nikki. It's your moment, your party. Congratulations. Looking forward to many more uh, powerful performances from you, uh, Agangsha. Thank you so much, and best of luck. You've been the nicest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>